Okay, rickety old tripod with a nice camera on it. Let's, let's see if it holds. This is a video response to the Jeepers Media video. If you don't know what I'm talking about, since this is a video response, there'll be links all over the wherever they're hiding the links these days. But here are the Cliff Notes version. Uh, according to Jeepers Media, and I have no reason to disbelieve what he's saying, uh, Viacom has been basically lifting YouTube videos off of YouTube and re-hosting them on their own personal video websites. And uh, he's got all the proof and stuff over there, so I really recommend you go check out his video. Uh, but it's kind of a long video. I think it's like 17 minutes and change or so. So bring a lunch and uh, watch his so stuff. A lot of people are asking me for my opinion and they're spamming me by telling me, hey, have you seen this video? Yeah, I've seen the video. It's okay. And what's my opinion on his video? Well, big opinion is why are we surprised? I'm just going to talk right through the traffic. I don't care anymore. All right, look, if you look at YouTube as a multimedia corporation, now I'm not talking about Google YouTube, I'm talking about us, the, the video makers, the people who are making content on YouTube. When you look at us as a multimedia corporation, it's not surprising that Viacom is trying to catch up to us because we're better than them. You see, Viacom's a large corporation, and corporations have this tendency to only do things that make them money. They don't just make shows. What they do is they kind of go through processes. They have committee meetings to talk about committee meetings, to talk about the focus group, to talk about the online survey. Meanwhile, us video makers on YouTube, us amateur filmmakers on YouTube, we're just making movies. We're just making videos. We make our three to five minute piece and we throw it out there and if it hits that's cool and if it misses that's cool too we're doing it for our enjoyment not because we have any illusions of making money now, as a result of this what we do is far more relevant far more current than what Viacom can do because they're six months behind the curve by the time they figure out what we're doing we've already moved past it and we've gone well beyond it so instead of trying to figure out the trend instead of trying to figure out where we're going because we don't know either instead of trying to be relevant like we are they're basically taking the easy cop out by lifting what we do and rehosting it. But this also leads to a very interesting conundrum because I can already hear the trolls talking about this and uh, let me kind of clue you guys into what I think they're already saying. See, on one hand you have us, the YouTube filmmakers, because we use materials like we've used video, we've used audio, and we just want to make videos and we're saying hey it's not fair that Warner's taking our videos away because we happen to use them but music. on the other hand way over here you're gonna I know I can already hear the trolls talking over here saying well it serves you right you stole their material now they're stealing your material how does it feel to have somebody steal money out of your pocket huh there's one problem with that analogy it doesn't work extreme close up. you see when we make videos and we use music from one of the artists that we enjoy what we're doing is we're actually evolving the work. And all that Viacom in this case is doing is they're just lifting our videos and dropping it on their own website. They're not changing it, they're not evolving it, they're not doing anything to it. They're just dropping it out. This whole thing kind of goes back to the concept of piracy versus progression because we're not just stealing the music, we are actually evolving it. But that's another thing entirely and I'm saving that for another time where I have more time to talk specifically about that. Now Jeepers Media has made the mention that he thinks that Google YouTube should file um, something with their legal staff to get a, like a discovery thing I think he said. Um, but I think that we should take a little bit of a different tactic with that and that is that if your music has been lifted, if your video has been lifted, if you are affected by what Viacom has been doing, you know, maybe you should take the, the take action into your own hands. You know, maybe we should use the DMCA that they've been using against us, and we should hammer them with it. What do you think? You know, Google, YouTube, I think they should do something with them too, but I'm thinking death by a thousand paper cuts here. That, yeah, sure, a thousand dollars here, ten thousand dollars here, that's pocket change to them, but... You know, if you get a couple hundred YouTube users and each one of them sues them for a hundred thousand bucks or so... I'm thinking they're gonna see the point. This goes back to what I was saying before, and that is large corporations only do things that cost them money or save them money. That's pretty much all they're all about. And if they kind of get the point that taking our videos off of YouTube and rehosting them is costing them more money than it's earning them, they might stop doing it. But that's just one guy's opinion. But just for fun, let's say that you're morally offended by this and you're thinking, hey, I want to do something about this. Well, you know, it's, I'm not one to suggest that you send them letters and send them postcards and send them emails and send them uh, nasty faxes or call them up on the telephone and let them know exactly how you feel. I'm not going to say that you should do that. 
But you know what? That option is always there. I, I'm not saying, you know, I'm just saying. And I could go into so many different tangents on this one, but I'm kind of trying to keep this relatively short because you guys are probably going to want to watch the Jeepers Media video too. So I highly recommend you watch his video and get an idea of what's going on because he'll tell you more about it and all that other good stuff. And I think we'll call it at that.